Hello everybody, uh, Shaziz here. The last photo you saw was called a reed switch. Reed switches are used to turn things on and off real quick as a magnet passes uh, to it. It causes the two contacts to suck together like this right here, turning your switch on, making the contact. Now let's take a look at an LED, a light emitting diode. Reed switches are nifty little gizmos. They can be used for a lot of different purposes. Some people use them in Bedini circuits to uh, pulse coils and so on down the line. But they also can be used in little security systems. These two little blocks that you see right here, this one here, and this, well, it's, it's at the bottom. Let me pull this out of here. All right, essentially this is a reed switch right here. One side's got a magnet in it, the other side's got a switch. And whenever they're, they can be set up two different ways. One can be to break a circuit or to make a circuit. Either way, uh, one of them's set up so that uh, whenever the magnet's there, uh, it'll keep the circuit closed and uh, one of them set up to where the magnet can release the circuit onto a second pin that will turn on like say an alarm or something. You could use reed switches to make your own uh, homemade silent alarms or you can actually hook them to uh, turn on and off of uh, a uh, buzzer or a bell or a horn or whatever it is that you want to use to alert yourself. The next uh, couple pictures here is a little simple circuit using a reed switch and an LED that when you pass the magnet across the reed switch would turn the LED on. Okay, uh, this is uh, the beginning of a, a little video series that I'm going to start doing. Uh, essentially, uh, electronics made easy for the average Joe kind of thing. At the bottom of this video in the uh, comment section or the uh, information section, I'm going to put some links down there to uh, different simple circuit uh, websites and places where you can go to uh, start getting a... Uh, general idea about electronics. Also there's a nifty little program so that you can uh, actually see how uh, electronics are put together as far as uh, on a breadboard or a schematic or the uh, PCB board which you're doing all your solder and your parts together and you can literally with this little program that's free you can design your own circuit boards and you can order through this website the uh, little PCB boards to put all your uh, components together. It's a real nifty little program and it's free. Uh, please excuse the uh, kind of poor quality of the last pictures, but this actual program actually has the capability uh, to uh, save your little circuitry that you design on this uh, program as uh, a, a JPG or a PNG file or whatever. and. Uh, I hope this uh, helps you out and gets you started on uh, basic electronics and all that and uh, kind of opens your eyes to all the different uh, things that you can salvage throughout your house for worst case scenario like uh, this little circuit that I just got through showing you. If you wanted a silent alarm and you wanted it to be so that uh, whenever uh, somebody opened your window or closed your door you can uh, use a config different configurations of magnets or, or reed switches to uh, either open and close a circuit, uh, make a little miniature silent alarm system like that little circuit uh, with a little LED that would light up you could have a whole entire circuit board full of LEDs and each one of the LEDs goes to a separate door or a window in your house. 
so that uh, whenever somebody opens or closes or whatever on the window or the door, then you would know exactly where the intruder was coming in or whatever. These are uh, real simple little ideas and I'm going to try to keep them coming as much as I can. So uh, if you like this video and want to see some more of this, uh, give me the thumbs up there. I appreciate it. Uh, peace and love everybody. This is Shaziz signing out for this video.